Hello everyone, welcome back to CFT College. I'm Ashkan and this is another tutorial uh, on ANSYS Fluent. Uh, this, in this video, I'm going to talk about another uh, common error when you are using UDF, user-defined function in ANSYS Fluent, especially on Windows. Uh, in previous uh, video, we discussed about uh, another common uh, error, uh, which is known as compile error, due to uh, you know Visual Studio problems and issues. But this uh, error that I'm going to talk about in this video uh, is another uh, serious error that many of the users uh, may have faced with. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to show you a, a trick, a tip to solve that error. So before starting the video, uh, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that. I have many videos about CFD, computational fluid dynamics. You can enjoy them. And if you have found, found these videos useful, please share these with your friends and introduce us to them. So let's jump to the error. This is uh, this error actually is uh, quite similar to the previous compile error. Uh, but here in this error, you will see that it is mentioned that uh, the UDF library you are trying to load is not compiled for parallel use on the current platform. So in previous error, uh, there was uh, something else. Uh, I don't remember that. Uh, I can't remember it. But here you can see the parallel word. So this is important. If you see this word, parallel use, uh, it means that uh, if you try to compile the UDF uh, when Fluent is run, in seri serial mode, it there there should be no problem. But when you are using uh, ANSYS Fluent on parallel mode, you will face this error. And I will show you how uh, you can fix it. It's not difficult. For example, imagine that this is your UDF. This is the first line. Include UDF.h. Uh, the general mac macro, define, define profile, define source, define, I don't know, every, every, anything. These are the arguments. It's okay. Here you have your code. So here, uh, whatever you plan to uh, apply in Fluent. But look at these two lines, uh, number six and number... 14 line six six line and 14th line you just need to add these two lines uh, at the beginning of your code you know before your code see here define blah 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 and after this bracket you should write it down uh, <clears throat> if rp has just like this with these symbols it's underlined, and this is hashtag. It's a, it's it's okay. It's a, it's super easy. So put it at the beginning of your UDF after this bracket, and before you close the bracket, add this one. And if um, it's really simple, and it will solve your problem. This is. Uh, the first method, and uh, there, there is another method, it's uh, which is not uh, appropriate. I think this is more professional. So it's easy. You just need to uh, add these two lines. Let me zoom in for you if you want to see that. Uh, but uh, I will write it down uh, in the description 
below you can use it just add these two lines at the beginning and at the end of the uh, UDF user defined function and then try to compile your code you will see that there is no problem and the problem is fixed uh, that's it super easy uh, I think it's enough for this video again thank you for being with us thank you for watching these videos please introduce us to your friends share these videos with them that would be really good support for us and it's um, it's valuable for me um thank you for watching and until the next video take care of yourselves and bye bye